Hey guys, what's up? It's Six Superist here, and today I'll be reacting to episode 6 of Avatar The Last Airbender. So, let's get on with it. Hey guys, before we continue with the reaction, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and click on the notification bell so that you won't miss any new uploads. And with that, let's go back to the reaction. Whoa. It's coming from over there. <laughs> Should we run away from huge booms, not toward them? Okay, what's happening? Ah. Oh, we have an earthbender. An earthbender. Let's go meet him. He looks dangerous, so we better approach cautiously. Hello there. <laughs> I'm Kimara. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I worked hard to get those nuts. <clears throat> yeah, I hate him too. Hey. Wait, that guy actually traded nuts for him? For it for the hat? Get started on your chores. Hey, you're that kid. Wait, you can just <laughs> enter. No, she doesn't. We saw you earth bending. Oh. They saw you doing what? They're crazy, mom. I mean, so it's illegal. You know how dangerous that is? You know what would happen if they caught you earthbending. Who's they? Oh my gosh. Oh wait, they're fire... Fire nations here? <laughs> what do you want? I've already paid you this week. The tax just doubled, and we wouldn't want an accident, would we? Fire is sometimes so hard to control. You can keep the copper ones. Nice guy. How long has the Fire Nation been here? Five years. Fire Lord Ozai uses our town's coal mines to fuel his ships. They're thugs. They steal from us. And everyone here is too much of a coward to do anything about it. Quiet, Haru. Don't talk like that. But Haru's an earthbender. He can help. Earthbending is forbidden. Why? It's caused nothing but misery for this village. Why? He must never use his abilities. How can you say that? Haru has a gift. Asking him not to earthbend is like asking me not to waterbend. It's a part of who we are. You don't understand. I understand that Haru can help you fight back. What can the Fire Nation do to you that they haven't done already? They could take Haru away. Like they took his father. Hmm, okay. No, I need a little bit more back story information. But you should leave in the morning. Don't tell me this old man is gonna sell him out, even though he helped him, because I feel like that's why this episode is titled Imprisoned. Everyone should get some sleep. We're leaving at dawn. Dawn? Can't we sleep in for once? Absolutely not. This village is crawling with Fire Nation troops. If they discover you're here, Aang, we'll be eating fireballs for breakfast. Good night. I'd rather eat fireballs than nuts. Good night. <laughs> That's him. 
Yeah, exactly. Obviously. Everybody's just out to save their own skin. In this town, at least. So, that's a very sad uh, ending for Haru. Although I'm not sure if we'll see him again, or if Aang and the gang will go and rescue him. Seriously, back off. I will not back off. I bet elephants get together and make fun of how large your ears are. That's it. You're going down. I'll show you who's boss. Earthbending style. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> now he's so oh, conscious about his ears. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure they're they're actually using the captured earthbenders to work in the coal mines, right? Or something like that. Is that an oil rig? She'll be fine, eh? Katara knows what she's doing. Okay, so not in the mines, but in an offshore oil rig. That that's where they're That's where they're being used. I give you, and we'll get along famously. You will notice, Earthbenders, that this rig is made entirely of metal. You are miles away from any rock or earth. That's not true. So, if you have any illusions about employing that brutish savagery that passes for bending among you people, forget them. But Katara is a waterbender, though. No, it's completely possible this this dude is doesn't know what he's talking about i'm sorry but we're powerless we'll see about that earthbenders you don't know me but i know of you every child in my water tribe village was rocked to sleep with stories of the brave earth kingdom and the courageous earthbenders who guard its borders some of you may think that the Fire Nation has made you powerless. Yes, they have taken away your ability to bend. But they can't take away your courage. And it is your courage they should truly fear, because it runs deeper than any mine you've been forced to dig, any ocean that keeps you far from home. It is the strength of your hearts that make you who you are. Hearts that will remain unbroken when all rock and stone has eroded away. The time to fight back is now. I can tell you, the Avatar has returned! So remember your courage, Earthbenders! Let us fight for our freedom! Nobody's gonna respond positively to that. They've all just lost hope already. The Fire Nation has broken their spirit. But, I do think that a little bit of pragmatism might won't hurt that much in this case. Um, the idea that you just have to survive and wait out is a good one, I think. But I think the fact that they lost their will to fight is the, the, the thing that uh, Katara needs to target. 
I, I think that's what that speech is about. But a bit poorly timed. I think now is not the right time. For, for her to be able to inspire them, you need to show them, not just um, talk to them or encourage them with words. You, you need to be able to show that there is hope, that there is a possibility of getting out and fighting back. And she needs more than just a, a few encouraging words and, or a speech for that. Hopefully, Aang will join in the fray later on. Anyway, let's go back to the show. Your 12 hours are up. Where's Haru? We've got to get out of here. I can't. We don't have much time. There are guards everywhere. Get on. Katara, what's wrong? I'm not leaving. I'm not giving up on these people. Okay. I think that was the right decision. What do you mean you're not leaving? We can't abandon these people. There has to be a way to help them. Maybe he's right. What do you say, Sokka? I say you're both crazy. Last chance. We need to leave now. Okay, so the thing is, there are a lot of earthbenders inside this whole facility. And uh, I'm not exactly sure how many fire, fire nation troops there are. But I think, you know, as, as with any prison, right, there will always be a disproportionate ratio of guards to prisoners. So, of course, because the earthbenders think they can't use their bending inside the prison because it's metal, they'll probably not be able to fight that way. But there are other means of trying to escape from this prison. And hopefully they find something they come up with a good plan for it. Look! Tell me exactly what you saw. Well, sir, it looked like a flying bison. What? It was a giant flying buffalo, sir, with an empty saddle. Which was it? A buffalo or a bison? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what the difference is, but that's not really the point, is it? <laughs> I'll decide what the point is. <laughs> 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 you, wake up the captain. Search the entire rig. Uh, sir. What? That was the captain you just threw overboard. So, up someone I haven't thrown overboard and search the rig. There's something going on here, and I don't like it. These vents reminded me of our little trick back at the village. We're going to do the same thing, but on a much bigger scale. There's a huge deposit of coal at the base of the silo, and the whole system is ventilated. Aang closed off all the vents except one. When he does his airbending, the coal only has one place to go. Right back here. Mm, nice plan. Stay back! Oh, wow. I'm warning you! Katara, stop! You can't win this fight! You don't know that yet. Listen to him well, child. You're one mistake away from dying where you stand. Where's Aang? There we go, okay. Here's your chance, Earthbenders! Take it! Your fate is in your own hands! Still, nobody wants to fight. Nobody wants to throw the first stone! Interesting. 
Okay. Interesting. What a coincidence that Zuko was the one who found Katara's necklace. Alright. Alright, so... As I was saying a while ago, you do need just one spark, one tiny spark to get people to act. Although Katara's words were definitely inspirational and they were encouraging, but a lot of the people who were in there already had their spirits crushed so you kind of need to give them a small opening or an opportunity for for them to actually act right because they 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 don't think they can make any moves since all around them was just metal and so they think they couldn't use their bending but with the plan and with ang bringing up the coal from the deposit they finally found the opening that they needed and thankfully haru was the one the first one to take action and with his courage he was able to inspire his comrades to action as well that's how they were able to escape from that prison so yeah if you're thinking of trying to inspire someone to act or to do something it's best to actually make the first move yourself sometimes because especially if they think they're hopeless and if their fighting spirit has already been completely snuffed out although in this case it wasn't completely snuffed out but you need someone to take the first step and i think the message of this episode is that it's the the young idealists who are the ones doing that you know even if you're old actually you can you can still have that fighting spirit burning alive in you you don't have to give up. You can bide your time and wait for the right opportunity. And thankfully, Aang and the gang was able to give them that opportunity here. Um, but sometimes you won't find somebody else. Like, you know, you won't have external help. You have to create that opportunity for yourself. But it's going to take a long time. So it's a learning experience for them. It's a good lesson for them. And uh, thankfully that ignited the fire to uh, oppose, right? Oppose the oppressor. In this case, the Fire Nation. That was a very interesting episode, nice episode. And thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one. Thank you guys for watching until the end of this video. Click here to subscribe and check out these two videos for more fun content. See you in the next one.